Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how to sell a Gala Founders Note. Um, these are the three trades that I've had here, um, all successful. They made it through no issues. Like it's a, the system works really well. Um, I just feel like this would be a good video for people to be able to see exactly how to do it. I was a little confused when I first did it on, on, on what my steps were. Uh, so if you go into your inventory um, in uh, your games.gala.com, and then you go down to where your node is the founders notes should show up and then you'll be able to mint those founders notes uh, once you've minted them uh, and you go into your marketplace you should be able to go and see your notes once that's minted we'll go to the nft harbor the marketplace and we're going to click on create this is where we will create the trade you can select how long you want this to go day two month week um, so those are your options. I guess those are the four hours, one day, two day, one week, or one month. Um, then you can go to the select the total time that the deal uh, for it to finish. Um, this is basically allowing the person on the other end and you to uh, transfer both the token and then the NFT. Because the way NFT Harbor works, it is uh, essentially acting like an escrow account um, because it's not all on chain with the Gala chain the way it works right now. Once you select the expiration time, that is how long the actual node itself will stay live in the marketplace. And then again, the deal time. So that's after it's been accepted by somebody, how long that's gonna go. I highly recommend everybody select this button here, which is the protect deal, because once somebody accepts your price, you're gonna have to send money and you're gonna have to make your NFT transferable so then you can send it to that uh, escrow wallet that NFT Harbor has. So once it's in that escrow wallet, you have to pay a fee to get it to that point in time. Um, and if the buyer of yours, they still have the ability to back out. If they back out, now you have to make the choice. Do I then reactivate it? So then if I make it transferable, we're going to have to pay that fee again. And it's a lot of money. It's not cheap um, to do that. So keep that in mind when you're doing this this will help protect the deal so if they do back out you're at least getting 10 percent uh, once you select that you can scroll down to select your nfts we're going to go to node and then you're going to select your founders node in that and once you've selected that founders node we're going to scroll down to the bottom and you'll see the price so when you've selected one you'll have a price for that node that'll show up if you select multiple it'll give you tabs up here on the top um, and you'll have to select each one of those to make sure that those have a price to it. I just select Gala Chain because it's, you know, what I get with my nodes, so I can just combine it together and bridge them out if I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, choose your price. Uh, it'll show you the dollar amount below it as well. Uh, your minimum bid has to be below that price uh, to be able to be listed, so you can make it one Gala below that. It doesn't matter, uh, but you can put that in there. Once that's done, you scroll to the bottom and you can click on create trade. Once that is done, you will have your trade in deals. You'll have it, you'll have it in your deals so you'll be able to see what you have going on. These are some completed. Uh, what these boxes are, these are the steps that will happen and they will be read if it's something that you have to do. You will have a little, uh, it'll tell you on the on the action bar over here, what it is that you need to do next. Uh, so your first one is, if you have the buyer deposit, that's them. They have to do the buyer deposit in order to uh, activate the next one, which is your fee. That is the NFT Harbor fee. NFT charges a fee, it's pretty cheap. Uh, it's cheaper, way cheaper than uh, OpenSea. They're very fair. Uh, so you pay that fee and then you, that's your NFTs. So that's why it has to be transferable. We're gonna go back into your games.gala account and once you mint this it will show on there make transferable once you do that that's where the larger fee comes into play you have to make it transferable to be able to send it to the next step it'll give you instructions over here of what uh, the actual wallet address is in the action part uh, so it's easy to copy and paste that in there once you have done that then you wait on the buyer payment once the buyer payment is in uh, then it goes to system deposit and ultimately the stuff that's in the escrow account is the money will come to you and the NFT will go to the person that's the buyer and that will end it. The next step is once you buy a node, 
if you buy a node, uh, then you have to make it activated so you can run it. So then it's um, ready for distribution. So then you can run that node and earn distribution. So, uh, and if you do that, I highly recommend you come to Nerd Node. Zero issues. You're going to get all the uptime you need with Gala Founders nodes. It's not just the six hours it used to be a long time ago. And so you want to maximize that. And that's what we do over at Nerd Node. We manage everything for you. We're a full suite service. Uh, you sign up for us in less than a minute and you'll start to earn.